My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Jake, how are you? James, Snack, everyone, I'm well. I'm well. We're uh, we're back at it. We're in the we're in the teeth of it. It feels like summer kind of started. It got hot. They get hot. It got nice out. It was it's very nice out, and the allergies have kind of gone away for me a little bit. I got other sickness going on, not allergies. How are you doing Comment. with your butt? Comment what <laughs> sicknesses you think Jimmy has. <sighs> He knows. That's the thing. Let's talk about the sports. Jim, in sports, Aaron Judge is a cheater. Question mark. Whoa. Did you see this one? Did you see? Have you seen this one? I just like when Buck Martinez talks in oh general. Oh, my God. What a voice. Now, look what he's doing here. He's from North Carolina. I don't understand. <laughs> I Googled Buck Martinez accent. He was found in North Carolina. Where he's from, we're not sure. Imagine your manager having that voice and then... Saying, let's put this guy on the broadcast. Anyway, it's wild. I always like, it reminds me of Bill Hader doing the guy from uh, Murder. What's that show? Here's Bill Hader with a puppet. <laughs> it turns out, Jake, that it wasn't cheating by Aaron Judge. What happened no. was, in the words of Buster, only our dear friend and Civil War buff, um, Judge wasn't cheating. There's an assumption on the Jays' side that their pitchers and catchers were betraying the identity of the forthcoming pitch. That's all. They were tipping the pitches. And why Buster phrased it like that is because he currently has fallen into the Civil War. It's just why phrase things poorly when you can phrase things accurately. And I said this right before we got started. I've decided the word betrayal is hilarious. Because it's heavy. It's heavy. You should not use it for baseball. <laughs> well, I mean, especially not the identity of the forthcoming pitches. <laughs> but that's what was happening. The Blue Jays were betraying the identity of the forthcoming pitch. And the Yankees picked up on it. And Judge goes like this. Oh. And they say, going to be a meatball slider. And Judge says, oh, I'll hit it for a homer. Good news, bad news. Good news, Depends bad news. Depends on which side of the news you're on. Every time. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Especially war updates. Yeah. Can you just play one clip of Shelby Foot talking? And men, women, and dogs, chilling. Everyone needs to hear that. R.I.P. Jim, speaking of, this little leaguer gets eaten by a mini tornado. Betrayed by Earth. Betrayed, Betrayed by, the by the wind. Yeah, this little dust nado they call it, a swirl of dirt. <laughs> it's Coach's Pitch 7U, so there's a live stream, and you can watch it at home. Good and, game. Uh, I was watching live. The batter steps out. He's like, I don't want to be here. And the catcher... Kind of looking around, like probably closing his eyes because dust is getting in. And the umpire runs in, saves the catcher's life. The umpire's hat gets blown away in the middle of it, reveals that the umpire has long hair. Well, Jim, you also Huge like this. Reveal. The umpire's like a kid. Yeah. Because at that level, they have yeah. kids umpiring kids. Yeah. So, hero kid steps in, saves other kid. And yet, the clip is so ridiculous. It looks like it's out of like an early 90s movie that would be like the start of Twister. I lost my kid to a Twister. Uh, uh, Not a good flick, but five stars. If they let it go a little longer and the kid would have caught some air, that would have been cool. I don't think he was in if danger. If the kid catches a little air, the it's the most him. viral video on the internet. It's, um, I currently have it as like one of the, maybe the craziest thing I've seen on a baseball field. I know you wish there was more of an effect, but just the first time you watch it, like, mm. whoa. People challenge it with Randy Johnson Bird, yeah, which is a great counter. I was counter. literally just going to say counter. that that's the craziest thing I've seen on I can't counter against field. it, but... The Randy Johnson Bird is the craziest thing you're going to see on the baseball field. I like the mini tornado. More sports. Oh, so many sports today. Jim, more sports uh, and something you want to bet on is usually me and Jimmy, right? You like us, and we use DraftKings, so go do that. Although, if you bet on us in our recent Blitzball battle game, we need to issue some apologies. Well, I think they'd get their money back. I think the, I think like the sports book Ooh. would say, we'll give you your money back so you can bet again because they intentionally threw the game. We threw a game. Yeah. Get off our ass about it. Um, it was strategy. It was the worst time of my life. I hate it. I'll never do it again. Uh, but it happened and we're moving on. It's the most riveting content I think we've ever put out. I think it's amazing. I was smiling the whole time. The editors crushed it. There, it goes from editing a, a, a game to a reality show. It's like 10 minutes of just strategy talk. It's so awesome. Uh, and the response has been amazing. So yeah, if you want to go check it out. Rematch same Sunday, same teams. Jimmy got out to the worst pitcher ever. There was a big party on the field. We hate yeah. that too. So yeah, tough, tough video for us. But a lot of people enjoy it. It's been awesome. Most watched game thus far. Every game is beating the game before. Warehouse Games is hot right now. Get in.
Enjoy the action. All right, let's get off the sports. Jim, let's get off the sports and tell me about this not sports story that I think you were involved in. I wasn't involved in this. This is a, this is a good one, though. A man was accused of a DUI. He got pulled over. Uh, he was going 52 in a 30 mile per hour zone. As the cops were walking up to the car, they realized he had switched seats with the dog who was riding shotgun. Right. Uh, he tried to say, it wasn't me driving. <laughs> It was this dog. And then the next part says that didn't really work. And he kind of sniffed that out. He was like, this isn't going to work. So he tried to run and the suspect was caught 20 yards from the car. That's not that far. That's far for a guy that tried to make believe to officers his dog was driving. And he's drunk, I guess. I wonder what the terrain was. There were two people in the back seat of this vehicle that watched the whole thing. They took the dog home. How's Dog's fine. He, got, he went to jail. But I do wonder those people in the back, if he was like, switch with me. And they're like, no. No, oh, yeah. The they got shot right. down. You gave your dog shotgun over us. Ooh, this Maybe was, you, this was you, building you, up You let me time. sit in the front. I'll switch with you. Oh, they set him up. They called the cops. Oh. Isaac never lets us sit in the front seat. Let's fucking get his ass. <laughs> Bad friends. Isaac's the dog's name as well. Isaac and Isaac. Spelled differently. C and a K. And that uh, wraps up the show. Last segment is employee of the week. Employee of the week. Oh, this dude always wants to get it. He says we always uh, dangle his name out there and then don't give it to him. But Joe's did record his first out in the warehouse. And the, the graphic that just says Joe's recorded an out. In celebration is oh, really and like funny. the internet started to go like they did the bar celebrating video. Yeah, we got that they yeah. did the the painting of like at the art museum. Yeah. So yeah. So you want to do it? You want to give Joe's employee of the week? Dolphin boy gets it one time, <laughs> one time, twice, mentally every night. Congrats. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode was brought to you by DraftKings. Baseball season is in full swing, and whether you're rooting for the home team or betting on your favorite player, DraftKings Sportsbook has got you covered for all this season's action. Right now, new customers can place a $5 pregame money line bet and get $150 in bonus bets if your team wins. So join the big league action now on DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app and sign up with code Dumb! Only at DraftKings Sportsbook with promo code DUMB. I don't know yet. Betray, does that mean on purpose? Like to betray someone? I guess you can... You can accidentally betray. Yeah, I guess so. Expose to danger by treacherously giving information to an enemy. Unintentionally reveal. She drew a deep breath that betrayed her indignation. Betray. Pronounce it right.